So now, now you can kind of see where the where the town started from, and, and here you've got uh, the building that's been restored. And uh, one of the things that I always find interesting, if if you look at the edge of the uh, See where it says Dunlap and Ritz there, where the 400 is on the Riverside building? If you just walked into the middle of Broadway, that's where the, that's where the old fire hall was. And it was right in the middle of Broadway, and that was the end of town. And if you get Alan's book or Ted's book, there's some great, absolutely great photographs of the fire hall and people around the fire hall and pictures from the top of the fire hall showing celebrations that were going on on Broadway. It's just, it's just remarkable. This, the reason I wanted to stop here is, let me get this right. Oh, the other thing is the, the Kelly Building is one of the few buildings that survived the cyclone. Um, and uh, when we walk down this block, I'm going to show you the old Payne Furniture Store, and that has a history associated with the cyclone. But this building, this 1879, um, this is a classic example of what you don't do with an older building. These are classic examples of what you, the proper way to restore an older building. This is a beautiful brick building underneath that awful stucco. And uh, my fear, I don't know what they have planned for that, but um, it's, too, it's too bad because I think it's going to be knocked down. But there's a beautiful brick building underneath that, and for a long time that was a funeral home. And then it became a restaurant, and there's no connection between the two. But um, And then the Mask Theater here, the Youth Theater, uh, that really has an interesting history. That was the Connolly Camera Company. And um, their largest customer was Sears, Roebuck & Company and they built camera they made cameras there and then they said they were made in Rochester <laughs> and they wanted people to believe that they were being made in Rochester New York where Kodak was located <laughs> so that's the legend behind the Conley uh, camera company gonna add something John's to gonna add something to that okay actually the Conley camera company came after my family had that building and if you go to the front door uh, front door and you look down it'll say plumbing and heating um, that was the second location for Moss and McAndrews Plumbing and Heating Company, which was the first plumbing and heating company in the city of Rochester. So yeah. my, my, my family on my mother's side started that. And I remember being in there as a child. Uh, inside of that building there were, there were rows of toilets and, and uh, you could flush them so you could see how the toilet would work. <laughs> there were working lavatories. They also had gas lamps in there and gas and electric lamps. So I remember my Uncle Ernie and Uncle Oscar in there very, very well going into that facility. Up in the second floor there was storage, storage spaces. So that was, that was the second location for the first plumbing heating company in Rochester, Moss McAndrews. There you go. And then it turned into Conley, Conley when they moved, Moss moved to 6th Avenue, uh, 636 Avenue Northwest. There we go. Jess? Once the building is like that, is there any way to restore it back to like, what they did over here? I mean, can you, can you go back and save anything like that once they've already kind of colored it? Well, I, I suppose you could take that, the, the stucco off of there, but it would be labor intensive and, and probably somebody would have to have some deep pockets. It's similar to the way they defaced the, the Woolworths building. I mean, they made a mess of that. It, that was a gorgeous uh, gray slate brick uh, building, and they just covered over it with this nondescript stuff. And that's why the people that own this are to be uh, commended for their efforts. See that 1910? This is an interesting, I just found this out, and I can't remember if it was from Alan's book. Yeah, it's in my book. Okay. That building was built in 18... 1860 something but when the owner of that building decided to kind of renovate it a little bit he put the little cap on the top and he renovated it in 1910 <laughs> so he put 1910 up there but that building is probably 30 years older than that uh, than that building and uh, it was a bakery for a long time and the other great thing is the way I, 
where the sushi bar is, the way they rip that, uh, there, there's hundreds of buildings across the country where in the 50s they put tin on, front of them, on the front of them and aluminum. And that building had aluminum on the front of them while it was Ace Hardware for, I don't know, 40, 50 years. And I remember when they pulled that off, all of a sudden behind this are these windows and it's just a gorgeous building. I mean, it really is. And, you know, the sad thing is we don't do enough of that. We really don't. So let's walk down this way, all right?